Good morning and welcome to the first in this series of lessons where I will be explaining what the Year 11 GCSE exams for English language are. Now, regardless of whether you are a, a primary school student, a Key Stage 3 student or a GCSE student, these lessons will explain how to ensure you get your GCSEs for English language. Now, if you want to get a GCSE for English language, you need to understand that there are two exam papers that you must do. Number one, an English language paper one, and number two, an English language paper two. Now, English language paper one is based on fictional texts, whereas English language paper two is based on non-fictional texts. And you need to start compartmentalizing this in your brain and start to understand what is asked of you. Now, each exam paper is one hour and 45 minutes and each exam paper is out of 80 marks. Therefore, both English language paper one and paper two will take you three and a half hours to complete, and the mark of each exam will be combined out of 160 marks. Typically, language paper one is on a Monday, and language paper two is on a Wednesday. So it's split into two separate one hour, 45 minute exams, both being 80 marks combined 160 marks. So if you get 50 out of 80 on paper one and 55 out of 80 on paper two, then overall you get 105 out of 160, which is a grade seven. So. In order for you to get a grade 9, you'll need 60 on paper 1 and 61 or on paper 2 or vice versa. 60 out of 80 is quite doable. Throughout these, these videos, I will be showing you how to get that grade 9 on both papers. Now, let's go through each exam as a summary. English language paper one is based on a fictional text. In the right hand corner we have the Phantom of the Opera, a fictional text meaning it's made up and you have to answer questions on it. Now the exam paper is split into two sections, section A and section B. Section A is reading the extract and answering questions based on their extract. Section B, on the other hand, is a creative writing piece for language paper one. Section A is 40 marks and section B is 40 marks. Section A, for question one, you're, it's a four mark question and you're asked to answer some questions based on that text. This is your comprehension. Now, you're meant to spend about five minutes on this exam question. No longer. Question two is an eight mark question. And here you're asked to explain what the language used in the text means. And here, my recommendation is you spend 10 minutes on this exam question. Question three is an eight marker and you're asked to explain how the structure affects the meaning of the text. And here, my recommendation is you spend 10 minutes on this question. Question four is a big one. It's 20 marks, and you're asked to evaluate an opinion about the text. And this is a 25 mark question. Uh, sorry, this is a 20 mark question, and you're asked to spend about 25 minutes on this. Now, each of these questions are the same for every single exam. Therefore, if you learn how to do these exam questions, you can replicate that based on any single fictional text you get. Section B is a 40 mark question. This is one question which is worth 40 marks. Meaning, if you do this correctly, if you do this properly, you can get 40. We can get half the marks of your language paper one exam. This is your creative writing piece. You're asked to either describe a picture 
or write an original piece of creative writing. Now, I'd recommend again for this piece to spend about 45 minutes on this. And that's the entire language paper exam out of 80 marks, one hour, 45 minutes. You have an extract, section A, you answer questions based on that extract, and section B, you write your own piece of writing on it. English language paper two, on the other hand, is a non-fiction base of extracts. You get two pieces of non-fiction. Whereas with paper one, you got one piece of fictional text. Paper two, you get no, two non-fictional pieces of information. Again, just like paper one is split into two sections, section A and section B. Section A is reading and answering questions based on two extracts. And section B is your non-fictional writing, writing to persuade. So let's go through it. Section A, 40 marks. Question one for language paper two is a multiple choice questions based on source A. And I recommend you spend about five minutes on this. Question two is to write a summary of source A and B, whether it's the similarities or differences. This is the eight marker and you're recommended to spend about 10 minutes on this. Question three is a 12 marker and actually it's the same as the question in language paper one for question two, which is to explain the language used in the extract. Let me show you. So, language paper one, question two, explain what the language used in the text means. Language paper two, question three, again, explain what the language used in source A means. The difference is in paper one, it's eight marks. In paper two, it's 12 marks. So you're expected to write another paragraph. Therefore, if you learn to do the language question properly, which is question one, language paper one, question two, and language paper two, question three properly, then you can do this without any problems. Question four is a 16 marker. And here you're asked to compare the different attitudes of both authors of source A and source B. And you're recommended to spend about 20 minutes on this. And section B for 2020 only, you're asked to write article. And this is a 40 marker, just like how in language paper one, question five, it's a creative writing piece. Here you're asked to write to persuade, you're asked to write an article, and you're spending about 45 minutes on this. Now, the structure of the exam, as my recommendation from an examiner's point of view, is to do section B first for both exam papers, then do then read the extract, then do set a question one, two, three, and four. And this will ensure that you get the most amount of marks because you really want to get all your thoughts out for that question five, that 40 marker, and then do the reading extract and then answer the questions based on the reading extract. So guys, thank you for viewing. Like and subscribe. Be ready for the next video where I go into detail regarding language paper one, question one. If you have any questions, do let me know. Thank you.